Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's Two Minute Tuesday, we're going to be taking a look at how to delete or remove a block from your drawing. Uh, this is a quick way to get rid of a block definition that you're no longer using uh, to clean up your drawing, reduce the drawing size, or just remove some clutter. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's jump right in. All right, so to get started, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that a block that you want to remove is no longer in the drawing. Simply deleting blocks from your drawing will not actually remove the block definition from your file. Uh, this allows you to delete blocks, but still reinsert them later on in your drawing process in case you need them. But if you're finished your drawing or you want to insert a different block with the same name, you'll want to remove the old definitions uh, to keep your drawing clean as well as avoid any conflicts. So to do that, you're going to use the purge command. Uh, and if you followed some of my other cleanup videos, you've probably become familiar with this. Uh, by typing in purge in the command line and hitting enter, you're going to get the purge dialog box here. By hitting the plus sign next to the blocks list, it's gonna show you the blocks that are available to be purged. This means that all instances of them have been deleted within the drawing, and by simply selecting them or choosing the purge all at the bottom, uh, you'll be able to remove them. You can simply right click on an individual and purge it. You can also just choose purge from the bottom here. Uh, you can also change some of the settings here, which I've gone over in other videos, but basically you can tell it to confirm each item to be purged or uncheck that. You can also tell it to purge nested items, so that'd be blocks within blocks or within reference files or line type files, uh, etc. You can also get it to automatically purge unnamed objects and zero length geometry by checking on some of these boxes at the bottom. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just purge all and then it's gonna confirm you wanna do this. Just hit purge all to continue with all of them. You can see they've been removed from the list. So now you can see those excess blocks that I wasn't using have been removed. What if I wanted to delete my sync block from the drawing? You can still see I have an instant of instance of it here. So you can see on the properties here, this block is called sync. I only have one in this drawing right now. So if I hit delete, type in purge, you can see that a block has become available to be purged and it's called sync. So again, I can click purge and purge it and now that's removed from my drawing. You can also see that by removing it, it's left these two smaller blocks uh, that were making up my sync block, the faucet top and front. By choosing purge all and purging all items, we've remedied that by removing all of those now orphaned blocks. Uh, same goes for, say, a title block. If you'd like to replace it with a similar or updated one and you're having conflicts with the same name, uh, removing it could be helpful. So I'm going to just delete this 11 by 17 portrait block here, which is one of the ones that you can get on my website, cadintentions.com. So now I've deleted that. We're going to type in purge again, and you're going to see again that these blocks are now available to be removed. So I'm gonna delete my 11 by 17 portrait title block by hitting purge all and saying yes to all. You can see now it's been removed from the list and all those unused block definitions have now been deleted and cleaned from the drawing. Ideally, this is gonna reduce your file size. It's also gonna keep it cleaner and easier for the next person to use without having duplicate blocks or unused blocks when they're trying to insert uh, blocks that they are using. Uh, so that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out my AutoCAD productivity course and webinar. It's an hour long video uh, that's available for purchase on my site. It's 20% off for viewers and subscribers right now and it's packed full of tips like this, productivity workflows and tricks. And I think you guys are gonna really enjoy it. Uh, check it out, I'll put that link up above and down in the description below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date. It helps the video algorithm to get this seen. Uh, and it also keeps you up to date with new videos. I post at least once a week uh, and every Tuesday with tips and tricks. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Cheers.
Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.